Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lisa Campos, Community Affairs Director with your Positively Tampa Bay. Since we started this segment almost two years ago, Positively Tampa Bay has showcased hundreds of organizations and people who are making a difference in our community. And today's guest certainly fits that bill. He is Ryan Neese, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer and the founder of the Ryan Neese Foundation. Thanks so much for coming in. It's Thanks always so great me. to see you. Thank you for being such a great partner with us in our Taking Action Against Domestic Violence campaign. It was a great message, and I was happy to be a part of that. So many of the kids get excited when you talk about giving back to their community. They're used to seeing you on the field. You were in the NFL for seven years. But what a lot of folks don't know is that even when you started the NFL, you were doing projects in the different communities where you were working. Yeah, absolutely. When I first came here to Tampa Bay, um, you know, I didn't really know anybody here in the city. And obviously, I'd go to practice and, know, you know, play with my teammates and hang out with them. But I spent a lot of time in my free time in the community, volunteering, working with different nonprofits. And really just enjoyed uh, the platform that football, uh, football gave me. And the more that I could give back and the more that I could do in the community, the better I felt. And uh, it's been great. The Tampa Bay community has been always great to me. So it's, it's, it's special. So many of the celebrities were watching video of you at Christmas time <laughs> when you go out and you help the families in need and the kids at the hospital. So many of the local celebrities really limit their, their community service work to the holidays. However, you've got programs that are happening throughout the entire year. Tell our viewers about the Good Samaritan program. We do. We, we started our foundation about four years ago, and, and we saw people still falling through the cracks. Even though there's a lot of really great nonprofits here, we saw some still tremendous needs. And so we developed the Good Samaritan Scholarship Program, where we reward two students a year uh, from Hillsborough and Pinellas County scholarships. And we really focus on those individuals that are volunteering and giving back uh, to the community. I really want to reward those kids for building that foundation. And then we have a holiday program where we feed families during Thanksgiving. Uh, we work with kids during Christmas time, and that's, I mean, big numbers, you know, 400 to 500 families during Thanksgiving, 100 kids during the holidays. And then we have a mind and body clinic um, where we teach kids about becoming better athletes, not from the outside, but really from the inside out. So we teach them about nutrition. We teach them about uh, mental focus, about being a you know, good character, about motivation. And we bring in really good speakers to come in and educate the children. And then we also teach them the physical components as well. And we have coaches and players come and show them things they can do to enhance them as, as athletes. So um, it's really great. And we do a lot of really special things with our programs. And you know, we have some new programs that are, are coming up that are just adding to our plate against the fight against childhood obesity, which is going to be a great program for us. And um, we have another program with, uh, called The Power of Giving. And that's going to be an exciting event on Labor Day as well. Right. Well, we'd like to give our viewers information on an event where they can connect with you and connect with the organization. We're talking about the fourth annual Ryan Neese Foundation Benefit Gala. We've got some information on the screen. This is happening on Saturday, June the 19th. Tickets are on sale already. It has a limo photo hunt that you're going to explain. And then the gala is at 830. How does that work? It's going to be an exciting day. You know, a lot of people do bowling events and golf events, and they do different things to raise money. But we decided to do a limo scavenger hunt, <laughs> um, which I, I, growing up, I loved, you know, the scavenger hunt idea. And so we tried to incorporate that with limos. And so people will be able to have eight people, uh, up to eight people in a limousine and a celebrity. And they're they're paired up with, each team is paired each, up with a celebrity. Yeah, each team will have a celebrity in their limousine. You'll ride around town with great clues. And, you know, you're trying to get points. So you come back to win some great prizes. And then later that evening, we'll go to the Pep and Center and have a, a fabulous gala with great entertainment huh. and food and, um, you know, a laundry list of celebrities that are coming in from all over. So we're excited. Well, congratulations. Best wishes. We look forward to hearing some of the celebrities that will be there in addition to you. If you'd like more information on the event, you can visit them online at ryannice.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.